Hello, my lovelies. Good morning and happy Sunday to you guys. Um, I have your reads pre-shuffled, you guys. Um, I do this to save time. Also, we're going to do this a little bit different from now on. I'm going to timestamp your guys' sign and I'm going to post it in the description box down below. So we're going to be doing Cancer, Scorpio, and then Pisces, okay? So if you don't want to wait to watch your sign, you can just go to the description box down below and click on the timestamp, okay? And it'll take you straight to your portion of the read. So without further ado, thank you to all my viewers or subscri and subscribers. I love, love, love you guys. I have you some angel oracles pulled to the side and we're gonna start out with Cancer and then I have Scorpio and then Pisces, okay? So let's get into it. We've got a lot we gotta get into. So, Ten of Swords, Cancer. You guys, this is something that had ended unexpectedly. Somebody was not expecting this ending, but this was for your greater good with the Six of Wands. This was to give you victory over love and you may not even realize it because there was a lot of uh, chaos and confusion. Okay. What I had channeled for you guys was make it make sense. Let me love you by Mario. Mind games change and no longer being stuck. So somebody was stuck in a, a situation where they, they were just being toyed with, played with. You guys may have felt rejected you guys are tired of being stuck with this four of cups in reverse you guys are, are bored you know you're ready to move okay somebody's tired of feeling trapped like they're um they can't say what they what they want to say do what they want to do somebody just feels like they're in a mental prison right now okay which is why somebody is traveling with this three of wands you guys could be going on vacation okay but somebody is just ready to escape some sort of uh something that happened real sudden okay with this ten of swords this was an ending this was a very painful ending this could have been a friendship. This could have been a relationship. A lot of you, this is love with this two of cups. Let's get into this clarification. Holy Spirit, holy angels, the death at the bottom of the deck. What did I say, you guys? Change. This is a rebirth. Something is being shed for something new to begin. What is this ten of swords, please, for my cancers? The ten of swords for my cancers, please. The ten of swords. And it is clarified, the Ten of Swords with the devil in reverse, the world, the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So this was someone who tried to get away with something, someone who was, who was being sneaky. This was someone who was being sneaky, you guys. Um, somebody tried to get away with something. Somebody tried to get away with... Um, playing with your emotions this was a toxic situation with the devil in reverse and whoever this was i feel like they got caught i do i do i'm gonna clarify please clarify the seven of swords and the nine of cups yeah this person had options with the seven of cups they offered their love I feel like they were very cold with the King of Swords in reverse. They were very cold towards you. And they offered their love to the wrong person. We had the uh we have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> somebody tried to offer you fake love. Like somebody tried to offer you something that wasn't real. They were just playing games with you. What is the devil in reverse, please? What is the devil in reverse? I'm going to put those cards back in the deck. What is the devil in reverse? Because that was a lot that comes out, but I read them anyways. The king of cups, justice, the page of wands in reverse. So this was someone that was very immature with their emotions and their feelings. And you are um, receiving justice for the mind games that this person played with you. I feel like this was a really toxic situation, Cancer. Whatever this is, you're going to have victory. And then we're going to 
to shuffle the deck. I feel like, um, you guys, I admire you because somebody is not afraid to love. Somebody is still believes in happy endings. Even though somebody was hurt, somebody still believes in happy endings. And that is so beautiful. What is the Six of Wands, please? This is you with the Six of Pentacles. You are gener generous. You give to other people. Cancer, you're loving. The scales are going to be balanced out. This is you moving towards um, something better that you deserve. Okay, you deserve the Six of Pentacles. This is you working hard and you also giving back. Okay, you're a very kind and loving and nurturing and giving person. And this person played you for weak. What is this Two of Cups? King of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. There is somebody here. I'm going to go a little deeper. Um, what is the Ten of Cups, please? This is somebody that you're very passionate about. Somebody that you find very attractive. Um, but I feel like this person, some of you... Some of you are drawn by lust, and I have to say what I see. Some of you are juggling a decision. Some of you are trying to, do I want to give this person another chance? Because I feel like we saw the Knight of Pentacles, and I've seen where some of you cut. It's like this. there's something trying to end, and this person knows it's trying to end. So I feel like you guys are pulling away, and this person is pulling you back in. And it's got you in a state of confusion where you don't know what to do because you genuinely love this person. But with this Nine of Pentacles, you know you need to go from within and learn how to be independent. And you need to learn how to love yourself because this person was not giving you love. But this was your wish fulfillment. You were very passionate. This made you very happy. Oh, you guys, what is the King of Wands, please? But this caused chaos and confusion with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, the King of Wands, this person didn't see your worth. The Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse. This person did not see your worth, Cancer. What is this Knight of Swords? This is chaos, conflict. This is somebody... Um, This is somebody that um, is not being able to respond rationally, okay? This is somebody that I feel like you wanted. All you wanted was a happy home with this person. You wanted wish fulfillment. That's all you wanted. Please clarify the four of wands and the ace of wands. This is something you were very passionate about. You put a lot of, you put a lot of effort. As I'm saying this, the chariot in reverse, you're realizing this is not going nowhere. It's stagnant. The strength, you're finding the strength because you realize with the ace of pentacles in reverse and the world in reverse, you gave this person your all and they gave you nothing with the lovers and the six of swords. You're deciding to move away. You're moving on. You're moving on because you're, you're deciding that you are your own wish fulfillment, okay, at this point. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but I, the energies that I'm pulling in, it'll resonate with who it resonates with. This is somebody finding their power, finding their strength. They don't need nobody. The Four of Cups. What is the Four of Cups in reverse? I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes for each sign, you guys. What is the Four of Cups in reverse, please, for my Cancers? This was unemotionally fulfilling to you guys yep the queen of cups in reverse this made you feel uh this drained your emotions this made you feel cold maybe almost bitter like why did i open my heart up to this person like almost regretting being vulnerable but remember you still have you're still keeping hope alive but what I feel like this person is really confusing you, though. You want to hold on, but this person keeps pulling you back in. What is the Eight of Swords, please? This is you feeling like you're in some sort of 
mental imprisonment, okay? And I feel like you're deciding to walk away. The five of wands, this is conflict. This is you re removing yourself from conflict. This is you deciding to no longer be involved with these people, these energies, third parties, whatever you guys have had to deal with. For some of you, it's not third parties. For, for some of you, it's just family, okay? It's family and friend drama. You guys are removing yourselves. What is the three of wands, please, for my beautiful cancers? Three of pentacles and the six of cups. There could be somebody coming back from your past that you're going to be collaborating with. What is this queen of wands? This is going to bring you some sort of fulfillment. That was too many. What is the queen of wands, please? The magician. Oh, I didn't even see these two, y'all. They fell out. See, someone's trying to get away with something. So the magician came out in reverse with the seven of swords. Someone's trying to get away with something. What is the queen of wands? But I don't feel like you're having it. You're intuitive. You already know the queen of wands is a very intuitive woman. You already know ace of swords. What did I tell you? You already know. You've got your mental clarity and you're moving away. You're not dealing with this no more. You just need to be patient. Be patient. You've got a brand new beginning. With temperance in reverse, you could be a little bit unbalanced. Um, just trying to find, trying to balance your emotions out with this page of cups is what I feel. Someone is really trying to balance their emotions out after this. What is this three of pentacles, please, and the six of cups? After you move away to calmer waters, I feel like this person's going to come back and try to collaborate with you. Six of swords, seven of swords, the magician and the empress. This person sees you're the empress. This person is going to come back and try to offer you something because they want, they want what they can't have. It's the law of attraction. People want what they can't have. I mean, that's just how it is. Let's get these. Um, if you guys want to book a personal read, it's in the description box down below. So your advice is to free yourself, Cancer. It's time to take back control of your life. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit a fun to shine. So don't be afraid to open back up. Keep, keep hope alive. Okay, and your spiritual advice is be loved one. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So God is working out your partner, okay? They're preparing somebody for you, okay, Cancer? All right, moving on to my Scorpio. Let's timestamp it at 1... Twelve minutes. All right, Scorpio, let's get it, my loves. Ooh, why is this in reverse? This thing's supposed to be in reverse. So, Scorpio, somebody, there was a tower, a sudden shift, something happened that um, caught you off guard. You didn't see this coming, but this was meant to happen, Scorpio. Um, this was draining you. There was something that was that you were dealing with. You and Cancer both got the Knight of uh, Swords in reverse. And this is just mind games, okay? This is drama without cause. I also channeled for you God's plan. Seeing things in a new light. Also, you may be overworking yourself. And you could be dealing with the narcissist. I'm sorry, you guys. My allergies are acting up. But somebody... I feel like somebody ended up leaving someone out in the cold because somebody was overworking themselves trying to make something work that was just not bringing them fulfillment. And somebody's standing here waiting, like looking like, where, where's, where's my reward for all this hard work I put into this, this relationship, okay? And you guys um, are dealing with emotional storms, being unable to respond rationally to pressure, or bearing the brunt of others, okay? An inability to cope. So somebody is having trouble coping with whatever this sudden um, change was. So let's get some clarification. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, with the hangman at the bottom of the deck, 
somebody's going through an awakening. Somebody is seeing something that they didn't see before. What is the tower, please? Three of Pentacles, third party. You guys are healing. Someone ended up walking away from a situation where there were other people involved. You did not see any work for your, any, um, progress out of the work that you put in you didn't get anything back and you're you're realizing that what is the three of swords please clarify three of swords and the three of king of cups in reverse this is somebody who was emotionally abusive this was stagnant this was not going anywhere with the uh chariot in reverse what is the five of pentacles please somebody left out in the cold the six of swords in reverse this is somebody wanting to move towards calmer waters, but somebody maybe not feeling like they have um, the strength. Somebody feels something. We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups in reverse. There's a third party. Some You know that there's someone else involved. Somebody knows that there is someone else here, but someone is refusing to see this. What is this Queen of Cups? This is judgment. This Queen of Cups is judgment for somebody. This is karma for somebody. This is karma for hurting, I feel like, this Empress. Clarify the Empress, please, in reverse. Somebody is surrounded by fake friends. Somebody is surrounded by people who are not serving their greater good with the seven of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's having to be really defensive and stand their ground a lot. Um, but somebody is highly intuitive. This is you, the queen of wands. This is you, Scorpio. Somebody is very intuitive. Somebody is sensing that something is not quite right here. There are some energies that are off balance. Okay, and you could feel this because this person may have been bringing these energies home to you and you can sense this. The passion is not there no more. The emotions, the love, what you want to is not there no more. But somebody is resisting this change, even though you can feel it and you can see it. You're somebody is initially hurting themselves. Please clarify the Ace of Cups. This is wish fulfillment of some sort somebody has options please clarify the seven of cups somebody could be having to make a choice somebody's needing to learn to be um independent three of cups somebody is having to choose between for some of you somebody's having to choose between several people there's more than than one other person for some of you Please clarify, what's the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands? This is somebody that was very immature and deceitful. This is somebody who made a very stupid decision. This is somebody who chose lust. With this Ace of Cups, this person was um this person was thinking with their you know what instead of their their head. And and that's what I feel like causing you guys to lose whatever foundation you had built what was this ace of pentacles in reverse because for some of you you guys had built a foundation together what what did i just say the queen of pentacles came out in reverse the king of pentacles what did i say this was you two were some of you were married and the justice came out in reverse so this this person this was dirty this was dirty, and somebody is, is receiving karma. What is the temperance in reverse, please? Somebody's receiving karma because now I feel like someone's looking elsewhere. Someone's traveling. Someone's not sitting and waiting around for their dreams to come to them anymore. What's this Knight of Swords in reverse? The Knight of Wands, what did I tell you, Scorpio? You're going after what you're passionate about. You're not. You see how they're going head to head? You're standing your ground. You're not backing down. You're going for what you desire, for what you truly want. You're seeing that you put this hard work in and you're tired of being stagnant with the chariot in reverse. You're tired of it not going nowhere. You're ready to be with somebody who is going to take you to the next level emotionally, like someone who can understand you on an intellectual level. Because this person is not very intellectual. 
What is the seven of pentacles, please? Holy Spirit, holy angels. The two of cups. This clarify, please. I knew it. You're moving away. Five of wands in reverse. The two of pentacles in reverse and the two of wands. You guys are moving away from this conflict. You guys are choosing to balance your life out. No longer are you going to be weighed down or mentally, financially, or physically imbalanced. You're tired of being imbalanced. You are ready for structure. Somebody is ready for structure, and there is none here. The Nine of Cups in reverse, that's your incontent. Please clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. The emperor in reverse, this person did not live up to your expectations. This person is, is not, this, this is not for you. You're an empress. See, with the five of swords right behind it, this person brought you conflict. Nothing but drama. Emotional drama. Drama, drama, drama. That's it. Six of wands. You are moving towards victory. This person, you wanted victory with this person. But intuitively, you know that it's not going nowhere. What did I tell you guys? The chariot in reverse, the eight of wands, and the ace of wands in reverse. This is not what you thought it would be. And someone is realizing that there's something better out there for them. So that's what I feel for you guys. Um... This person is not worth your time, Scorpio. They're not. They're not worth your time. Focus on yourself. Whatever is happening is happening for a reason. This isn't God's plan. This is to move you along, to be around people who are going to love you and cherish you the right way. People that are not going to play with your emotions. Nobody deserves that. All right. Extend your light-hearted energy to others flirt flirt get out there get out there and flirt you are to be loved all is well everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand what did i say everything god's rejection is your protection remember that Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distract, distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the responsibility and the power to block them out. So I feel like you guys could be mourning yourselves on Facebook, seeing this person, you know, just you guys are don't do this to yourselves. Don't do it to yourselves. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're worth more than that. All right. On to my beautiful Pisces. Let's see. 2311. Hey, angel numbers. I'm divinely guided Pisces. So we have the Queen of Cups, the world, the chariot in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody is clinging on to something they know they need to walk away from. You are emotionally um, holding on to something that is not serving you because you are loving, you are comforting, you are caring, you are intuitive. Listen to your heart, my beautiful Pisces. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. What did I just say? You're doing too much for others. Now, yours, I'm not going to clarify as much. I will as much as I can, but I use my special cards for you, Pisces. These have a lot more information on them, and you guys have an extra message over here as well. So, we have the world card, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. You are completing a cycle so you can start a new phase in your life. Things are no longer going to be stagnant with this chariot in reverse. Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. Somebody is not wanting to be in the spotlight, somebody is not ready to come out from their shell yet, but they're trying. The Eight of Cups in reverse. 
the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. I heard someone say, I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The devil is a lie. You deserve it. You do. You deserve it. The four of wands, you deserve this. You deserve happiness and you will get it, Pisces. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace, happiness, and content personal life. That is coming to you, my love. Then we have the um, Knight of Pentacles. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going, okay? With the Hermit in reverse, somebody's ready to come out. Somebody is stagnant. Someone wants to come out. Like I said, with the chariot in reverse, someone's shy. They want to come out, but maybe they don't really know how because of what they experienced in the past, okay? They could be going through some sort of insecurity. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. That is what this means in the upright, but it came out in reverse. So I'm feeling like you're needing to um, really get out. Talk to people. Learn new things. Learn. Now is the time for you to learn instead of be the teacher. Because one day you're going to be put in a position to be a teacher. When this card goes up in the upright, you're going to have to go in solitude. But right now you're being asked to get out and meet new people. Express yourself. Because right now with this Queen of Swords, you could be feeling bitter and angry. Okay, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. It does not matter. You are being called to focus on your bag. Cha-ching. Please clarify the uh, Queen of Cups. The lovers in reverse. So somebody scarred you. They scarred you. They did. True love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart, a return to good health. So this is someone who did the complete opposite. They took you down through there with the nine of swords in reverse. You guys are focusing on the worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. No, no, Pisces. I need you to get away from that. Quit, quit worrying about this person because they're not worried about you. This is your time to shine. This is your new beginning, Pisces. What is the world, please, for my Pisces? The high priestess. Trusting your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. You are not wanting to trust your intuition because it wanted to come out in reverse. I see you, Pisces. Don't make me come and get you. Play smarter, not harder. The three of pentacles. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. That you will be. When you start playing smarter and not harder, you're going to start being rewarded for your hard work. What is this chariot in reverse, please? I'm going to try to clarify as many as I can, you guys. We only got a few minutes left. I'm going to clarify the major arcanas for you guys, okay? The two of pentacles. So somebody somebody put you, you're ready for things to be balanced. You're ready for your life to balance out. You're tired of living in imbalancement. Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities, jobs, an exceptional talent for multitasking. But you, you need a break too. Clarify the hermit. You guys got two more. Y'all have so many major arcanas, but they're all coming out in reverse. There is a serious lesson you are needing to learn here, Pisces. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually minded community. Focus on God. Focus on your spirituality. Take time. Take action. The power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Someone is insecure. You do not believe you are going to be successful and you will be. Get out of this bitter energy, okay? Drop this bitter energy and you got everything else that you want coming. This is the completion of the cycle. Ten of Wands, stop carrying everybody's burdens and their baggage. Stop it. What is this four of uh, wands? Give me something happy. The five of cups. Somebody is feeling lost. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. 
focusing on that which frightens or worries you. Somebody is worried that they're not going to find their true happiness. And baby, you are on your way to it. It's right in front of you and you don't even see it because you're too busy, you're too busy being bitter. Clarify the uh, Queen of Swords and then I'm going to get y'all's oracles and we're going to close this out. What is the Queen of Swords? Ego, what did I say? Someone's being bitter. The illusion of being trapped. Placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. And I, I feel like for you, it's the exact opposite. You're afraid that you're not worth. You're afraid that this is, you're not worth it. And it's caused you to be bitter. The five of pentacles in reverse. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. Things are going to get better for you because there's something coming in right here with this Knight of Pentacles. And also, you guys, you had renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life and purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. Let me just see. I want to see real quick what's coming in. What is coming in? What's this uh, Knight of Pentacles, please? Oh, you guys, y'all have a lot coming in. I see an emperor. Somebody's wanting to come in. Seven of Pentacles. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. There's something you're going to be investing in that's going to bring you, uh, it's going to balance something out for you. Someone may return to you, somebody. There's someone from your past that's returning to you. The return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they actually occurred. I feel like there's somebody that you may not have looked at in a certain way before. I feel like for, for those of you who are single, that person is going to be coming back for you. Okay. What is this renewal, please? What is this renewal? My camera is going to cut off, you guys. The emperor and the moon, powerful, intuitive, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. When you realize what your fears and your uh, shadows issues are that you need to work on, your emperor is going to come in and get you. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Yes, this is your soulmate. It is safe for you to love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What did I say, you guys? All right, y'all. My camera's finna cut off. I love, love, love you guys. If this video resonated, thumbs up and subscribe, you guys, for a personal reading. Book down below um, in my email. It's in the description box down below. Also, if you would like to donate or support, it's down below. Bye.